in chapter apparently 1995 of One Piece. A world not worth living in. <laughs> um, cover page request, Buggy chasing a squirrel monkey that took his nose. Hey, you took my nose. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so... Oh, I actually have a story about this. So if you guys um, follow my channel, then you may know that when the One Piece live action came out, I introduced One Piece to some of my non anime manga friends. And um, obviously they only watched the live action. They, don't ha they didn't have any background about One Piece, hadn't ever read the manga, hadn't ever watched the anime. And so after finishing the series, my friend, she had a theory that the reason why Buggy was so sensitive about his nose and like hated nose jokes or hated anyone mentioning his nose was because he actually had a normal nose and his nose only grew because of the devil fruit that he ate. And that's what made him so self-conscious about it. And I, um, I was, I had to think like, no, that's not right. He always had, um, he was always clown themed. But I have to say, I love that even the live action is really sparking the theorist in you, you know? <laughs> um, but anyways, reading chapter 1095 of One Piece, a world not worth living in. How do I... <laughs> what is it? Oh, okay, like this. Okay, Just, I am being dumb. All right. One of the five elders, Saint Saturn, has landed. Rear admirals and captains stay behind while all other soldiers retreat from the center. The Gorse has made landing. They aren't worthy of his presence. How did he even get down here? I've only seen portraits of him. What was that flash of lightning? We usually call in an admiral just one celestial dragon. He is above even those gods. Are you telling me that man has come from marijuana? Look at the hockey. Mm. Oh, wow. Bonnie, what are you doing? Psh, look how tiny she is. Saint Saturn! A Gorose has been stabbed! Oh, no. Shit's about to go down. That's a world leader who reigns at the top! Prepare to fire! As he's saying that, look at him preparing his head. Is that where he's going to fire from? <gasps> Bonnie! <laughs> Quiet down, insects. If I didn't want to get stabbed. It's a bit of an SMN, SNM. Saturn and masochism, is he? <laughs> What happened? Did she... Did he just she force propel her? I would have dodged. If I didn't want to get stabbed, I would have dodged. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Bonnie-chan! Sanji! Holy crap. Oh my god. His wounds are disappearing! <coughs> what the hell is going on? Let's use this chance to capture Vegapunk! Wait, you fools! There is no need for haste. They have nowhere to run. <laughs> it's just playing around with them. <sighs> Even for you, that took longer than expected, Kizaru. Ha, 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 that is the power of Gear 5th. My apologies, I have no excuse. 
I, I don't think I can move for a little while. Ha ha ha! Luffy stops back up. Back up. It's okay. I understand the reason why. And Luffy... <sighs> well then. Oh no, he's about to go take it out on Luffy. No, Luffy! Look at that pincer! Oh! No! Strong right! Oh, thank God for Frankie. I see. You have a pretty strong crew. That's it. That's it. Respect for Frankie. Put some respect for Frankie's name. Ha ha ha. Even the world leaders at the top are after my captain's head. <laughs> oh, God. All right, be gentle on Luffy. <laughs> Straw hat Luffy. Jewelry Bonnie. You two joining this battle was definitely unexpected. However, you are surrounded by Marines on an island on the brink of destruction. If by some twist of fate you can manage to escape, I'd like to see it. What does he mean by that? How much would he like to see it? You, Vegapunk. It's a shame you betrayed us. For all your contributions to the military. Thank you. So tell me, who dies first? In the most painful order, we want you to die in regret for having opposed the world government. I told you he's into s &M. This guy is into s &M. Why? When humans are told not to do something, they do it anyways. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, stop it! Hey, can anyone move? No, it's impossible. Some kind of force is holding us down. If it's not science, it has to be a devil fruit. Oh no, Bonnie. You killed my father, Saturn. So it was Saturn. Oh, Kuma? He was born a slave. A remnant of a tribe of people that committed a grave crime. Ah! The lone survivor of the exterminated Buccaneers people. The lone survivor of the exterminated Buccaneers people. Whatever does that mean? Oh, Lord P's coming up. It's coming. We're getting it now. We are getting it now. Bonnie, ever since I was a child, I always wanted to be a hero. One who brought freedom to those who are suffering. Just like the warrior of liberation, Nika. Ah! Kuma knew about Nika as well. Everyone, aim for the head. What? They're gonna kill Bonnie? No! Nika? Yes, I admired him. He would dance into action with a smile on his face. Dum, ta dum, dum, ta dum, dum. Oh, look at him dancing. Look at them dancing. Bonnie Chan! Leave her alone! She's just a child! Will he? Oh. Will he set me free too? Oh no, was Bonnie enslaved as a child as well? Of course. Oh. 47 years ago in the South Blue Sorbet Kingdom. Wow! It's a very large boy! Congratulations! Here he is, our little boy. Kuma. So, uh, doctor. Oh, about his blood? We won't let any information about this get out. What a happy baby. It's so big. He's almost... Holy crap. Sorry, clap, run. The government had eyes in this hospital too. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm the only one with Buccaneer blood running through my 
veins. Oh. My wife is different. Please let my son go. Please. Don't worry, on. Oh. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh, this is sad. Oh. It's a Bacchanian slave! Look at his strength, even at his age. Oh, poor Kuma, even as a young... Oh. Stop dilly-dallying and move. Stop dilly-dallying around and move faster. It hurts. Ouch. Stop crying. Do you want to die? Hey, Kuma, how are you doing? Dad. My master is so nice. I'm so lucky to... Oh, Kuma was such a nice boy. <laughs> Your mom has passed. Oh, no. Oh, man. Your mom has passed. She's in heaven now. She's in a better place now. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, Kuma, you're, you're strong. Keep enduring and live on. Why? I'd rather die. Ah! The warrior of liberation will come. He'll save you. Oh, my God. Oh, please don't tell me his dad died as well. The God of Sunshine, Nika. It's the name of the warrior of legend, passed down through the people of Buccaneer. He will one day bring you to the free ocean under the sun. He's always laughing. Oh. That panel. He moves in a rhythm and makes people laugh. Dum ta 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 ta. Dum ta 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 ta. <laughs> Shut up! You're loud! Oh. No. No. He did not just... Did he just shoot him for being loud? Get out of here. Are you freaking for real? Did he actually? Is that what happened? Is this... Thirty-eight years ago in West Blue. Thank you for waiting. For the once in every three years. Population eradication tour. What the freak? Population eradication tournament. This year the tournament will be held at. This non-world government affiliated country. God Valley. What? This island, shamelessly named Valley of the Gods, is rich in many resources. Here, the tradition of hunting humans will take place. It will be changed to hunting... To hunting natives. What the freak? This country is now property of the world government. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill my people in this game? Are you crazy? This is my country! Your Highness! Pew. Ha! Your Highness! Oh my god. Just... Pew. Sliced his head. Oh my god. This is cruel. Oh my god, guys. The God Valley lore is finally happening. The God Valley. Oh. And after this, okay, so that is what I was spoiled. This is part of what I got spoiled was that God Valley was those two sweet words and I knew I had to read this freaking chapter.
but what the freak? The tournament of killing people, of eradicating entire populations. This is, oh god. Please wait, Saint Carling. And this is the other one. It was freaking Saint Carling. It was God Valley and Saint Carling. Please wait, Saint Carling. Hold your horses. Haha. <laughs> Looks like he went. Oh my god. Oh my god. So Garling was the one who sliced him. He's been. It's been a little. It's been a little pompous shit from day one. No wonder he has no qualms about killing Muir's God. Looks like he went and killed the king of the natives. Saint minus ten thousand from po Saint. Saint minus ten thousand points from the start. Look at all the fangirls around him. <laughs> That should be a good handicap for the other contestants. God's Knights. Saint Figurland Garling. So was he already a God's Knight from, from the get-go? This year, in addition to the natives, you will round up problematic slaves. Oh my god. So we've captured that child that escaped. The child of the Buccaneers tribe. You bastard! Why would you try to escape? It's a responsibility that 10 of us have to take. If it, you run away, the rest of us would die too. Hee-haw-ha! -ha. Hold it right there. I see, so you're this year's prize? I hear you're from the Bukhani tribe. You'd recognize that. You'd recognize that from anywhere. That's Ivankov. Hee-haw! I hear Bukhanis have giant blood. Hmm? Slave Ginny. My big brother here is pretty big too. Only my face. Wait, that's not the point, you dummy. Slave. Holy freaking crap. So Ivankov was a slave as well. Does this mean? Does this mean Dragon was a slave as well? Is this how they all met? It was. Go oh my god, my brain. Only my face. Wait, that's not the point, you dummy. Look at these people. Why does people. Why does everyone have such sad, defeated looks on their faces? I'm gonna live on. What about you? The person he meets when in hell. No, this is the end! 